Molly girl, I like your face. And Molly says this as she takes him by the hand. Oh, blah, dee, oh, blah, da, life goes on. Bra, la, la, how the life goes on. Oh, blah, dee, oh, blah, da, life goes on. Bra, la, la, how the life goes on. I'm Becca Atkins. I'm the executive director of Art Reach and uh, still the artistic director of the Second Step Players. I've worked here since 1993. When I came in as the assistant, I actually came in as a volunteer before I was hired to do a piece of choreography. That was my background. I had majored in dance in college. I had no theater experience. I had no mental health experience. But I knew that I'd walked into a place where people were really kind to each other, and I've stayed ever since. It made me feel like I had a place where I belonged. and. Over the years, I've seen that happen for so many other people who've come in here. It's just how it works, I think. And you do it through joy because you're working on theater and comedy and music and fun stuff. So ArtReach has a theater program that now includes the Second Step Players Theater Troupe, which is a little bit of drama but mostly sketch comedy about the mental health system. And it's designed as political theater to make some change in the system and also to demystify mental illness for the audience members who see it. We have a stand-up comedy troupe as well. They turn the pain into comedy. They gave me a shot of Thorazine that was so strong that even the guy next to me fell asleep. <laughs> My name is Sam, Sam Bliven, and I've been a member of Our Reach now and the Second Step Players since uh, probably 94. I started uh, as a playwright. I started uh, writing a skit for uh, Second Step Players. I joined them then as a Second Step Player from that point on. <laughs> It'll be marvelous. No, no, no. When I first started with uh, Second Step Players, I was uh, uh, timid, shy, and quiet. And then as I grew as a writer or just as a participant, I realized I could relate more to the people with, with uh, diagnoses. I could find a little of me in every little thing that was going on to say, well, okay, well, this is life, okay? So it didn't have to be a diagnosis. I could say, well, this is where I can relate to people, not because I have to go and tell somebody else, because I could just come in and do my theater and not worry about what the public out there says, because the public comes to see the theater. They don't come to, to see how I'm doing. They come to see the show and I come to relate to the people I'm doing the theater with. But the growth of it all is not in the measurement of how, how far I've come, but, but the fact that there is growth and there still is growth. Because uh, no matter what happens uh, tomorrow, I know that uh, I can be uh, well versed in that I have people I can rely on to support and support others here today. We have an artistic development program that varies a little bit depending on what teachers are around. We like to hire really good community artists to come in and teach these classes. After many years of Art Reach, we decided people really needed to be working on craft to up their game because people stay here for a long time and part of our purpose is growth. So we have a local playwright who teaches playwriting classes as well as comic book making classes. She's also a visual artist, so she teaches people to storyboard and do graphic novel style comic books. We have a poetry group that runs in the artistic development where people work with different poetry forms. It's a peer run group. It didn't start that way, but it is now because people have stayed in and now are completely capable of running it themselves. We have a local mural artist named Faith Satterfield who comes in and teaches more like painting in larger projects, painting and sculpture and working with different kinds of media. My name is Faith Satterfield. I own Murals by Faith um, here in Norwich and I actually stumbled upon ArtReach by accident five years ago. I think what ArtReach tries to do is give people creative outlets for healing. I've seen it in action. One person in particular who's come in fighting tears can't speak, dealing with something personal, and she'll begin to participate, and by the end she's laughing, she's feeling encouraged. The culture here is so inclusive, so I always try to make art unintimidating, where people feel like 
whatever they do is, is right. There's no wrong. But the culture here already is, you're included, you're important, your voice matters. And I think when you put creativity in that same mix, it gives an outlet for people. And it usually surprises them because they don't realize that they can, they can create, and that matters. We have a music program that includes a jazz group and lessons are available when people want to take them. And then we do projects like right now we're working on Make Music Day where we get groups of people together who choose songs and a couple musicians on staff including myself and Dick Pape who's the music director. So we play for people to sing. And then the big music thing is the coffee house which involves two house bands that each rehearse on a different night. We split the program members in half who are rehearsing. And they come in and with a full band. We rehearse over about an eight to 12 week period. And then do a big show in one of the public theaters like uh, Chestnut Street Playhouse or the Donald O Theater downtown. Right now, I'm probably most attached to music. That's really fun for me. reach about a year and a half ago and it was kind of a miracle that I found it. I was in a place where I needed a resource and I was looking for a creative resource to sort of partner with some healing. Goodbye to you and I. When I first came to ArtReach I found a creative writing class and also some scene study so some dramatic arts and some visual arts as well some painting printmaking, things like that. What we're working on now are some singing and some acting. So it's been great. It's been a lot of fun. It brought me out of my comfort zone and brought me to a place where I'm taking risks and doing things creatively that I didn't know that I could have within me. So it's sort of changed my perspective on life. It's given me optimism that I didn't know I had. and. Uh, I guess some sort of strength that I could just look forward to contributing socially in ways that just did not exist before. I love showing up, which wasn't a possibility a year and a half ago. It brought me a lot of confidence, it brought me to a place where I felt welcome, it brought me to a place where people are not judgmental. It's a sense of belonging, it's a sense of trust, it's a sense of safety, which is a really, really big deal. You know, you don't want to isolate when you feel like you have some place to go and, and feel welcome. My name is Barbara Stanley, and I've probably been in art reach between six and seven years. My name is Dazia Butts, and um, I've been here since 2004. The family was already there, and the minute you walked in, you were never treated like you didn't belong. And all of a sudden, I was like, I'm an integral part of this family. My opinion, my feelings, they matter. It's almost like you absorb it the minute you get in. You realize what's going on and you see, my God, this is family. We don't even have to really think about that. We can just feel it. I became more comfortable in my skin, which I was not. I was scared, alone. And I felt like a family with these people. I'm not alone and they care just as much and understand. You work with each other. You build something from the ground and bring it up and do something very beautiful. It's a process. You start with the, you're still not sure about yourself. You're still not sure about how you're gonna deal with things. And the more it's reinforced over and over again, the more confident you are with anything. We get a benefit, we benefit each other. 
we benefit the, the, the community and they benefit us. We all benefit mm -hmm. and it's it's an amazing feeling. The uniform I see is like a roller coaster ride. You're like, just before you go on, like, I, don't know. I don't think I can do this, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> then you go on stage, you like, wow, it's the greatest thing ever. And then you go, like, yes, let's do it again. And then you're, <laughs> And then you're lying again, backstage, like, I can't do this, I can't do this. Yeah. And the same thing over and over again. And then the show is over, <laughs> and we go, we only did it four times, can't we, like, go on the road with this? <laughs> and getting off that stage, when people start clapping, you're like, for that four seconds, you feel like the famous person. So, I'm up here. No photos right now, please, you know? Been looking like a queen in a sailor's dream And she don't always say what she really means I'm Jerry Corey. I've uh, been a member of Our Reach since I believe it was January 1998 when I joined up. Sometimes I think I'm one of the later ones here, but I guess now I'm one of the veterans since I've been here for a little over 20 years. I feel that Our Reach uh, has done a lot for me over these last 20 or so years, and, and uh, Judy here, uh, I mean, she's been a good friend over the years too. I'm Judith Essex. I'm called Judy. I've been with ArtReach since 1993. They taught me things that are invaluable. They've given me a lot of self-confidence throughout the years. They turned me, who was an extreme introvert, into someone who has had a certain degree of extroversion. And I think that has helped me a lot. I am very grateful to this group. They've given me a lot of confidence. When I came to them, I was in a state of absolute distress. But these people helped me learn to uh, put that aside and do the best I can. They give help and advice, but they are not pretending to be doctors or experts. They just give people a safe space, a protected space. I feel that uh, just about everything that they offer is, uh, has been very helpful to me. and I feel I've been able to shine to some degree in quite a bit. I recommend it for people who have uh, some strong mental health disabilities. They, they really are uh, a very rehabilitative group. Outreach is a confidence builder. Outreach is hope and strength. They create a safe space and they are very welcoming to all people. They always have your back, no matter what. People can stand in the breach between the way things are and the way things should be. Our reach is an opportunity to take the broken things in me and patch them up and turn them into something new. I'm just not sure why I'd be without them right now. My hope is that it's a positive support in people's lives so that they can really remember themselves in their positive form and have the lives that they want to have. On the outside you see normal That only lasts a little while For you wear it in your bearing It's in the way before you smile You see couples who seem happy Wonder how they got that way Are they blind or kind or stupid? Or are they having a good day? Standing here without illusion You know I almost had a wife Life is full of disappointment Yes, and I am full of life Life is full of disappointment Yes, and I am full of life Hi.
That's gonna be nice. Isn't that a lovely place? I have those. I have those places where harmonies go marked. I'll have those next week. Okay. 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 Okay.